So the ASA, ASOPLA, the proximity ligation assay for targeting alpha synuclein oligomers, has been uh, published in uh, uh, a group from UK, 2015. And actually, PLA as a technology was developed in Uppsala at uh, uh, where I work on the third floor here. So I was familiar with the technique. And then we saw this paper and we thought that we, we might use it to target oligomers, to visualize oligomers, as it has been very challenging using immunohistochemistry. And if you read a recent paper, from like uh, Lushwell's group, Hilal Lushwell's group, uh, they talked about that the, all the claimed alpha synuclein antibodies do not recognize what they claim to be. There are no antibodies which are perfect. So then PLA doesn't rely on only one antibody, but it's a combination of two antibodies. Uh, and that's the advantage of it. And like our paper, which we published recently on mouse data on uh, A30P alpha synuclein mouse model, we could see uh, that you can monitor the oligomeric pathology in the mouse and build up of these alpha synuclein oligomers in the midbrain neurons. So this mouse model has been established something like 20 years ago. And uh, the, the thing with a lot of groups, different groups have characterized pathology in this mouse model uh, using immunohistochemistry. And in early two, two, 2000s, 2010s, uh, there was technique of protein SK PET blot, which enabled us to detect aggreg aggregate, aggregated species. But uh, since all the papers, uh, all these previous papers reported uh, uh, the, the pathology at quite later stage. And when our group in 2014 and 2013 published a paper using a oligomer confirmation specific antibody in these mice, we could see some signal as early as four months of age. So we, uh, we were not sure like if it is uh, indeed detecting oligomers. So we kind of con continued on those lines using the sensitive technique. And then we could see a uh, start of uh, oligomerization process already at two months in this uh, mouse, which uh, has not been reported before. So we uh, improved the detection of earlier aggregate species uh, using this technique. So we think that we could do same similar stuff in with using human postmortem material. So as an extension or like a follow-up study, we are doing it in humans, but using different antibodies. And the idea behind this project is to visualize if we can differentiate between aggregates and in its properties in different synecdoches. Uh, so the finding, so this study is like not published yet and it's still in preliminary stage. So what we did in the preliminary data was we had three, N equals three in uh, Parkinson's disease dementia, dementia with levy body and Parkinson's disease uh, cases and also neurologically normal controls. And on these post-mortem brain material, we coupled uh, different alpha synuclein antibodies from N-terminus to C-terminus while keeping the phosphorylated synuclein antibody common. And our initial uh, results indicate that with certain antibody pairing, you can differentiate uh, between uh, the different aggregation species in different synuclein opacities. But uh, since this is at very early stage, I cannot say anything for sure, but we, we are planning to add more cases and do those. Then we can perform statistics and say something for concrete. Mm. Mm -hmm.